Zulu Tango Foxtrot, this is Captain OG. Do you read me? Over. Captain OG, this is Zulu Tango Foxtrot. I read you loud and clear. Say, Captain, we haven't heard from you in a hot minute, and the CO and I was wondering if you were either Tango Uniform or perhaps had gone Elvis. Over. Negative, ZTF. I've been preoccupied with Blood Moon hordes, repairing my own domicile, and fixing my mods after the fun pimps came out with a new update for Alpha 21. Over. Captain, Alpha 6 is listening in, and he wants to know who in the seven hells these fun pimps are, and more importantly, who authorized this Alpha 21 to be the MFWIC. He says he's supposed to be the only Alpha commanding this operation. Over. Forget I mentioned it, ZTF. The important thing is to inform Alpha 6 that his CC has been prepped and ready for occupation. Over. The CEO still wonders if maybe if you've had a COTDA, but he's pleased to hear you have his new CC ready. A company will arrive on site at 0700 hours. Once they're stuck in, you'll be able to pick your fire team. Over. Roger that, ZTF. Over and out.
Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 21.1. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, we're going to start off this episode by um, hiring, well, obtaining, whatever, acquiring <laughs> our new fire team. Um, so, as you can see, the company um, has arrived in the Army State. What the hell did I just press? Um, there. Uh, U.S. Army Post 7 is now occupied, um, and we have some personnel wandering around the place and some vehicles uh, that they brought in with them. Uh, none of these vehicles that I have here I'm going to use myself. They're just there for props. Um, so, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to hire our fire team. Um, and we're also, in addition to the fire team, we're going to also hire ourselves a cook. So... Um, I think we'll just spawn in who we who we need. Um, now the uh, these guys that I I spawned in right before I started the recording, I I think once I leave the area they'll despawn. I don't think they stick around here. Um, so we don't need to worry about them. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, start with our um our lieutenant. Who will lead the fire team now i know a lieutenant i mean there's some variation and i'm by no means an expert on <laughs> military command structure but i know a lieutenant usually commands more like a, a company or you know maybe a, a squad or something like that but we're not going to get too to into the weeds on that so um our lieutenant is going to be um oh the other thing about a fire team too from what i read is that you have a rifleman, you have an automatic rifleman, you have a, a grenadier, and then you have, you know, the leader, who I think is also generally a rifleman. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make our lieutenant our automatic... Oh, they're already going to town. Uh, our automatic uh, weapon guy. And so um, that guy's going to be this soldier here. Okay. And... Everybody, meet Lieutenant Flap. Lieutenant Flap is our lieutenant. He is the leader of our fire team under us. And I spawned in some extra money to pay for this because we're role-playing that the Army's providing these for us, and I'm not having to pay for them out of my pocket. Uh, okay, so this is Lieutenant Flap. Everybody say hello to Lieutenant Flap. Okay, um, next is um, we're going to uh, spawn in uh, our sergeant. And I think I want our sergeant to be, uh, I'm just trying to remember what all these soldiers are. I think, based upon my notes here, okay, we, I want the GHD, and the Sarge is going to have a an assault rifle. G -H yeah, okay. Okay, so everybody, meet Sergeant Snorkel. This is Sergeant Snorkel. He's third in command under me, um, and we have now hired Snorkel. Okay, next we're going to hire a, uh, a private, and that private's going to be... Uh, I think I'm also going to give the private... Um, let's see, I think it's this one here, yeah. I'm going to give them uh, also an assault rifle. Okay. Everybody meet Private Cosmo. So this is Pr Cosmo here. He's our new private. All right. Very good. And then we need to add one more person to our fire team. And unfortunately, the soldier mod, uh, soldier add-on for the NPC mod does not have any female soldiers. Um, plus, it kind of makes sense for us to have ourselves a medic. So we're gonna kind of kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna ha we're gonna spawn in a nurse, and I don't think I want a a grenadier because the problem with the grenadiers they're gonna have a rocket launcher. That's the only option there is for explosives, and they're gonna probably blow us all up. <laughs> plus, it's probably gonna be massively OP. Um, so instead of having a grenadier, we're gonna have a sniper. Um, and unfortunately. The the uh, soldier mod does not provide a sniper for the soldiers. 
Um, I think I can, there's a way that I can give them a sniper rifle, have them use it, but let's just go with the nurse so we also have a medic on our fire team as well. So we want to find the S rifle, nurse uh, pistol, pipe rifle, nurse spear. Here we go. Okay, there we go. And so everybody, this is Nurse Buxley, and she has she has a sniper rifle. Okay, so let's hire Nurse Buxley. Very good. And then we're going to hire a fifth NPC, but they're not going to actually be part of our fire team. We're going to hire ourselves a cook because we need a cook back at our, at our base here. Uh, so let's go back into here. And we want to choose uh, the baker. And I think we'll, we'll do the baker. Um, the baker needs to be able to help defend the base, though, you know, if screamers come along. Uh, so we're going to give the baker, I think I can give the baker a, a DE. S rifle, T rifle, crossbow. Thought I saw, I'm looking for D pistol. We could give the baker a shotgun, too. Bat club. Here we go. D pistol. Yeah, let's give the. Actually, yeah, no, let's give him a, a desert eagle. Okay. And uh, this is Cookie. So everybody, this is our new cook. His name's Cookie, and he's going to man the man our 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 base and cook meals for us and do things you know like the cooks do. And there we go. There's our team. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Um, let's go ahead and bring these guys over to our base. Like I said, the rest of these NPCs that are meandering around here, I think they'll disappear once we leave the area. Um, so we're going to head back to the base and then kind of get situated and then we'll take these guys out for their first foray into the infested zombie apocalyptic quarantine zone. If you didn't already know this, um, the NPCs will, they'll just teleport to you when you get away from them. So they'll all just kind of pop in once we get to where we're going. Oh, and sticking with our, our theme here of these names, uh, we're, ha we're gonna have to change Snowball's name to Otto. So that way we're consistent. And those names, some of you may know exactly where I got those names from, especially if you've uh, a little more seasoned and have been around <laughs> as long as I have. But they are based upon um, the characters in the Beetle Bailey comic strip. So that's where I, where I came up with the names. So I thought that would be kind of fun. All right, so... What I want you guys to do is let's have you um, just patrol around here. We're gonna, in fact, we're gonna just tell all of the soldiers to patrol around here. And Sergeant Flap, or I'm sorry, Lieutenant Flap. Okay. So they'll patrol. Let's have Cookie follow us into the kitchen because that's where he's going to live. And while we're over here, let's empty these guys too. Okay, here's your new, your new station, Cookie. Uh, no, don't stand on the, on the thingy. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so what what I want you to do is I want you to Oh, stay where I am standing. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what though? He's right in front of the stove, so he's actually he's actually in a good spot where he is. So stay where you are standing. Okay. So he will He'll be in here. I can still get around him, right? Yeah. Okay. Doing his thing. All right. Everybody else is out patrolling the base. That's wonderful. And, uh, <laughs> okay. This is going to be fun. Um, I am, 
I am going to, um, like I said, I'm going to take them out uh, on a job with us. And we still have opening trade routes, trader wrecked. Oh, yeah, we haven't even taken a new job from Rex, so we'll go get a tier two and we'll take these guys with us. But if you didn't catch the last episode, uh, I explained in that episode, you know what, I need to do some, I need to do some mining. I explained in that last episode that we are going to use the, uh, the fire team for any, you know, POIs, whoops, I didn't mean to have that in there, that we, we've already done. Okay, so but but if it's a new, well, if it's a new tier five or tier six POI that we have not yet done, I will do it the first time, solo, just to do it legit. Um, but thereafter, we will. Um, and they got banged up. We can take them with us if we want to. Like if we go do like random looting or, uh, or you know if we're working up through the tiers, the lower tiers. Uh, we'll take them with us uh, for the most part there because uh, you know very well that we'll have no trouble with the lower tiers. Okay, so I think that takes care of that. So what I'm going to do is uh, we need to get out of creative mode. Oh, I guess I wasn't in creative mode. Uh, let's get out of... Hold on. Yeah, let's turn that off. And then we need to get out of a debug mode. Because I needed to get into that mode in order to spawn these guys in. Still says God mode is enabled though. So I think... Is there a command? If not, I might have to log out and back in. Options, movement, vehicle, menus, UI, miscellaneous. God mode is Q. Yeah, it's not working. I've had this problem before where it won't take me out of God mode. It's well, okay, hold on. When I hit Q, it says God mode is enabled. Oh, is that not a toggle? Why am I encumbered? What the hell's going on here? It's probably be, it's probably because of God mode. Yeah, because we got maxed out pack meal. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to have to lock, re relock. So I'll bring. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, cut the camera here. I'll relog, uh, get a couple things situated, and then I'll meet you guys uh, with the fire team um, over at uh, the trader. You know, we're gonna have to get uh, a transport vehicle to haul all these guys around in. Uh, <laughs> So, but, you know, we'll get that legit, though. I'm not going to just give myself vehicles like that um, to actually use. So, all right, I'll see you guys uh, in just a little bit at uh, Trader Hughes for our first Tier 2 job from him. All right, troops, let's go ahead and go on in and get ourselves a new job from Trader Hugh. I'm kind of busy. Okay, so we got... Um, a clear, a fetch and clear, an infested clear. Let's do the infested I've clear. Johnson's family you, cabin. If we'll get busy. Okay, uh, that doesn't sound familiar to me, but that doesn't mean we haven't done it yet. I'm just, I'm not familiar with all the these names yet. Um. Okay, so we're going this way. It's one click to the north. Oh, hey, look at that! There's an airdrop. Go check this out. Okay. Um, uh, speaking of which, we got uh, three uh, or two additional crafting skill magazine bundles we haven't opened yet. So let's open all of these. Cool. So we have two wiring, four harvesting, four rifle. Two explosive, two kniffy, and two electrical traps. So we can now make stacks of gunpowder. That's useful. Oh, and we got two uh, club crafting too. All right, nice. Not so bad. 
What do you think they're uh, private Cosmo? He agrees. <laughs> okay. He agrees. Of course, I'm the captain, so he has to agree with me. He doesn't have a choice. Oh, this is the uh, opening trade routes. I was I couldn't figure out why it was taking me to Rex, but that's actually active. So let's just do it to finish that little thing. Watch your back. Okay. Uh, you've got tier sixes, but all of those we, you know, we're gonna have to do solo at least for the first time. Because I'm not gonna take the the group with me on a on a one I haven't done yet. Uh, for tier six anyway, tier five and tier six, as we've already mentioned. Okay, so let's go here, and we're going way back that way. Okay, here we are at Johnson's family cabin. Um, maybe I've done this before. Can't say for an absolute certainty. Okay, so these guys, I think, are on free mode. There, let's do this. Let's put these down here. Um, I guess that calls them over to help me. Hunting. I think hunting means that they they just kill zombies on their own. Full control. Full control means that they won't attack anybody unless I attack first or am attacked. And then I think stop just, you know, whatever they're doing. Halt. Tells them to stop. Resume. Okay. Yeah, I just got to get used to all that. All right, so right now... If we if we wanted to be stealthy, we'd keep them on full control. But I think I'm just going Hunting. to basically let them do whatever the hell they want to. So when as soon as we see enemies, they're just going to blast them. Let's do a little bit of double looting here. Yep, he did. <laughs> These guys will be doing my light work. Who are you shooting? I don't know who they're shooting. So if we're going into a place where we need to be a little more tact, tact, uh, t t tactful, tactical, tactful, the hell's the matter with my mouth? Um, you know, then I'll put them on on full control. But for something like this, they can just shoot whoever the hell they want to, whenever they want to. Okay, so let's go back into here again. We'll check the vehicle. I didn't look to see if there was a mailbox around. This is a Mo Power. Nice work, guys. Guys and gals. You show them zombies for what for. What is that? Oh, that's a, a safe. How interesting. All right, let's let's uh, let's try these out. These. Oh, shoot, I don't have them with me. The, the bomb thingies. Uh, all right, well, we're just going to have to use the lockpicks then. Still need that last great heist magazine. Take him out. Come on, come on, Private Cosmos, use your gun.
<laughs> okay. That's kind of funny. Oh shit. Get him, guys. Nice work. Anything behind here? Yep. Let's loot the kitchen real quick. Okay, up the stairs we go. Nurse Nancy's going at it. Oh wait, no, that's not Nurse Nancy. That's uh, Miss Buxley. Nurse Buxley. <laughs> Go in there and get those guys. Wake up. Hey, what are you coming after me for? Okay, that's it. Excuse me, pardon me. Coming through. Nice. Ooh. Uh, that's an upgrade. That is an upgrade for us. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're current we're currently wearing blues. Uh yeah, let's no, not that. Pull this down here. And we'll wear that. Actually, let's repair it first. Might as well. Okay. Uh, modify this. And put the mods on here. Fantastic. All right. We got ourselves a bit of an upgrade. Guess that's it for this place. All right. Let's go do the turn in and take the next tier two. Ah, crap. I just realized we were in, we are infected. And we have a an abrasion, but I'm not going to worry about the abrasion so much. I'm listening. You must think you're pretty hot shit now. Well, you did it, so I'll honor our agreement. Okay, I'm going to take the insulated liner mod and probably the forged steel. Next job. Um, we have a fetch and clear. I've got a job for you. Smith if stone silos. I think that's the... If you're lucky. And pull this off. The farming I'll place, uh, farm silos, which I have done before. Um, let's switch out these two since we are in the, the snow biome. Okay, let's go to the silos. Um, normally I'd go after the corn, but we have plenty of corn, so let's just poke our head in here real quick. And that, that. I told you to stay down. And I think that's it. Oh, that's something new. Okay, let's get this party started. This is a fetch and a clear. Got another handy land. And vehicles, nice. So we are 69 out of 100 on the vehicles. I like how these guys, if they're in your way, 
if you just kind of bump into them, they'll they'll actually move, which is good. Unlike um, the old Skyrim companions that would get in your way and they just wouldn't move and you'd be like completely stuck. They made mods to fix that, but yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Kill him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Okay, those guys are dead. Did they get him? I think so. Um, is there anything more up here? Oh, shit. There was a, a trash. Oh, up higher. And first, all the way at the top. Nice. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me, Miss Buxley. Go back this way. We just came through there, right? I think so, yeah. Wait. Yeah, I think we... I'm a little turned around here. I think we gotta go this way. That's locked. Oh, shit! That didn't work out so well. Oh, hi, bear. Okay, so we came through there. We ran down through here. That door's locked, so... I said I think there's a switch right that opens those up if I remember right yes yeah, probably that switch right there don't remember how to get to it unless we go can't go that way can't go that way go out this way There we go. Activate the switch. Oh. Get out of here. Okay, there's nothing down there. Go this way. Go down here. Hmm. Oh, we got a rifle magazine for our trouble. Yeah, let's go back this way. I think that's just like a side path, maybe. Uh, well, maybe not, though. How do we get... I guess we have to go back around this way. It's obviously been a while since I've done this BOA. Um, I have done it before, but it's just been a while. So if we go this way, and I can't really get over there. 
Do we go back down? And go this way? That just brings us back up here. What in the hell's going on? Here we go. Okay, now we're out on this side. Nothing there. There's a, a board down here. Oh, hi, Zumbos. Locked? Hmm. We were just down there. What was that? Oh, one of those deals, eh? Okay. Here's the loot. Shotgun Messiah. Tactical assault rifle quality one. All right, we just need to find the supplies now. Shows as down below. Still shows down below. Okay, so, uh, they're that way. Hmm. Ah, okay. So, to get over there... I totally don't remember how to do that. I think we have to get back in that... Well, we can do it this way, I suppose. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can get back to the trader and get the... the night quest before he closes. <laughs> okay. Probably... I'm going to say the pipe bombs and the forged steel. Next job. Restore power. Night only. I don't trust you. The Gladiator but Residence, which I'm pretty sure we have done. But the thing is, is, you know, I, I was kind of hoping we could do new POIs that we haven't done, but we have to kind of, if we're going to work our way through the tiers, we have to kind of take what's given to us. Okay, now, um, I think we can start this at 2200 hours. Well, let's get over there and just see what happens. Oh, right, this place. Yeah, I, I like this POI. Um, let's go ahead and, and pretty much just double loot it. We'll let our peeps take care of the light work. Nice. Spears and armor. And we'll sell that. Shotguns and some beef cuts. A little medical pile there. We are out of space, so um, 
private Cosmo. You're going to carry some stuff for us, buddy. But let me get rid of stuff I don't want at all first. Okay. Cosmo's loaded up. Another leather duster there. There, there's some ammunition. Take him out, guys. There. It's interesting because the game treat does treat these guys like other players. I wonder if um having the the charisma uh, you know the charisma perk whatever it is would actually be beneficial having these guys with us. Okay, we'll do that. There's a crash in there. Okay, and then that, like that. Check the mo power. And Savage Country. Okay, we got a few books to read here. making all this racket out here. I don't know, but let's grab these books. More bow magazines. They must be like stuck downstairs or something. That's the generator we gotta do. There you are. Lose your leg, Steve. I know there's the the other tunnel that goes off the other way, but I don't think there's any substantial loot in it, but I'm not sure. So let's just go ahead and start the, the quest proper. All over again. I don't know that it's was actually useful to give her a sniper rifle because she doesn't really <laughs> appear to use it like a sniper rifle. But it's alright. It wasn't. I didn't have super high hopes for this, anyways. It's actually working reasonably well, all things considered. Okay. Nothing there. That's what we gotta activate. Okay, that's done. Good. 
Get out of here. Check this. I hear a mountain lion outside. Every time I hit up, he goes down. Every time I hit down, he goes up. Knock that shite off. Alright, don't see anything else to loot over here. back this way it's a bookshelf up the rope see his head so he gets hit in the ankle shoot that guy what are you waiting for oh there's like a hole up there that suggests maybe there's something loot to help him out a little bit there. Oh! I didn't know there was a hole in the floor there. Obviously. Goodness gracious. Alright, he did. Now, I want to know what's up here. Oh, excuse me, guys. Looks like it's how we get on the roof. I didn't think I was going to make that jump because I jumped too too high. I'll learn that. Let's get the loot. Armor and vehicles. 70 out of 100 on vehicles. Ooh, there we go. There we go. We've been waiting for that sucker. Okay. Um, and we even get a weighted head mod to come along with. It. That's pretty good. That is good. We'll eat that. I'm actually going to toss those. We don't need them. Let's see what's in mo power. Fisticuffs and bandages. All right, so let's um, swap out these guys. First thing we're going to do is repair this. And um, I want to take the mods off of you. We can't use that. 
on this ledge. But we can use this and this and this and the weighted head mod. And we'll have to come up with uh, something else, too, that we can put on there. Just trying to see if I have anything in my inventory that we can put on there right now. We could put this um, fortifying grip mod on there. Oh, looks like our quest is done, too. Actually, though, didn't I, um, oh, you know what probably would be best put on here is an ergonomic grip. Though I don't know if we'll have too much stamina issue. We might. We might. Does this have an ergonomic? That doesn't have it. Does the shovel? The shovel does. Okay, yeah, let's pull the ergonomic off of here. Because we don't need it on the shovel. And there we go. All right. We got the big green machine, sledgehammer. Beautiful. We got to go test this out before we wrap up this episode. We just have to do it. It's important. It's essential. So let's find a lumberjack. There's a couple more mountain lions, or is that a wolf and a mountain lion? That's a wolf. Dire wolf. Dead dire wolf. Dead mountain lion. They changed the sound of the bird's nest in 21.1. Sounds more like a bird's nest now. All right, well, let's go into town. And uh, I'm sure we'll find some Zikaroos to test out our sledgehammer on. Here, let's do this. Off with your head. Got two mountain lions. Hold still. All right, you're pissing me off now. Larry. <laughs> All right, good work, team. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make some noise. No spitting loud. With your head. No, blowing up either. That's not allowed either. Oh, look at that. Hitting them both at the same time business. Yeah, the sledgehammer's my baby. Ooh, that? I think I'd rather do this one. Yeah. Are you dead, darling? You are now. Shut up. There's our uh, timed charge I was looking for. Okay. Yep. Uh, the club wasn't bad, I have to say. It was not bad, but I like me a sledgehammer. Right, Marlene? Okay. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up the episode here. And um, when uh, morning comes around... We'll do the turn-in for this quest. And then after that, probably, let's see, what day is it? We have until 77, 84. So we have a couple more days for the next Horde Night. So probably 
And the thing is, though, is if I start a tier six or even a tier five, it's going to take us probably an entire to get day to get through it. <laughs> and I need. Why aren't you attacking him? Full control. Hey. Hunting. Oh no, we, we lost one of our NPCs. Who is it that died? It's not Private Cosmos. Oh shit, we lost somebody. Okay, we got to Lieutenant Flap still. So we lost. We lost um, Sergeant Snorkel. Oh, that sucks. He must have went out by himself and got hit by a mountain lion or a bear or something. He's just knocked down, right? He's not dead. Yeah, he's okay. Get up, Private Cosmos. Must be a Savage Country store or something. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I've got a little bit of sidetrack there. Um, so, yeah. If I feel like it makes sense for us to, to do another Tier 5 tomorrow morning, we will. Otherwise, the other thing we could do is we could just do some random looting without doing any quests at all. Or keep, or even just keep doing these tier two quests, I suppose, um, for day 83, because I'm going to need the day time on day 84 to get the horde base repaired and, and built out. So we'll see how it goes in the next episode. And we'll go from there. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the vid uh, video. Excuse me. My goodness. And uh, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.